to everybody. It's 8.24 a.m. Central Time here in the U.S. This little backing track, before I forget, it's just called Blues Piano Guitar Backing Track in C Minor. It's on YouTube. It's from Tom Bailey's Backing Tracks, Volume 1, just to be really clear. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, I wanted to come on today and just play and hang out a second. Uh, nothing particularly on my mind, except for the class that I'm about to teach, which I've been talking about constantly. Um, this class is the Gary Primich Riffs class that's coming up today at 11 a.m. Central. It's not too late to jump in. Just go to harmonica123.com and head to the top of the homepage. There you'll see the link. Um, but yeah, it's good to be here with you. I know, I know that... Uh, a lot of you watching or some of you might be attending or when you see this as a recording, it'll um, maybe I'll, you'll be in class with me. And if you see this after 11 a.m. Central or so today, you're watching this as a recording later on today, it'll become a product. It'll become a recorded class. So, all right, business out of the way, a little third position in C minor on a B flat. How nice is that? I've always felt like playing with a piano. Just piano and harmonica is just such one of the best combinations. I love that sound. And really, it's just going back and forth on like two chords. There's not much really happening here. Nothing fancy, but it's just beautiful. And I feel like in this kind of groove, you can really stretch out and do whatever you want. Um, if you're new to third position, just try playing the scale notes. Four draw, five draw, six blow. Six bend if you can bend, six draw, six, seven blow, and eight draw, and that puts you on that blues scale. If you can't play the bend, that's okay. You're still playing the minor pentatonic there. These notes are great. I'm putting in the five low. kind of throwing on a, a, a kind of a unique way of using a warble that you might have heard when I was just improvising that came out I'll just share this real quick let me play it if I can remember I think I did this it's kind of a nice way to use warbling in almost like you, you use the warble as a phrase you know instead of just a long hold so that little warble phrase is turn this off three four draw four five blow four five draw I think no 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 I just stopped at that four five draw and then uh, four five blow so let me say that again three four draw four five blow four five draw And then five, six blow, I think is where I, and then I just descend back down. Just feel your way through it. Draw, blow, draw, blow. And it's, it's right there in the middle. So it kind of works very well. Good morning to everybody that's tuning in. Thanks a bunch, Jean-Pierre. I appreciate that, man. Hey, Brian, what's up? Curtis Bayless, good to see you. Good morning. <clears throat> Panos from Greece. Welcome, buddy. So, yeah, it's fun. Third position for me was something that I uh, I found early on. Uh, there was a guy named Jimmy. I'm trying to think of his last name. He lived in Austin, Texas. What was Jimmy, Jimmy's last name? Maybe it'll come to me, but Jimmy was an incredible harmonica player. And 
he'd sit around and just share stuff with me all the time. He was responsible for helping me uh, develop for sure as a harmonica player. And Jimmy, uh, <laughs> he just had a thing about him. Uh, he sat down and it would share all sorts of stuff. Uh, what am I trying to say here? Um, I think it was Jimmy. I could be wrong. I'm just trying to make sure that showed me third the the scale notes for third. All he did was share with me what I shared with you in the in the middle, and then that was it. That was my whole understanding of third. And then later, when as I developed, I found the same notes on the bottom. And then I discovered just if I kept going nine draw, nine blow, and ten draw, that I could really complete a nice scale. could use the three blow instead of the two draw on the way down. Um, and then it was just a, you know, developing naturally, just feeling my way through it. But third position's great for minor tunes. It's a minor scale. You can play it over major and it works really nice too. And, you know, it's an awesome thing. Start playing that third position if you're not doing it. What else? That's it. I'm getting ready for the uh, the Gary Primage class is going to be great because we're going over these songs that are some of my all time favorite tunes, uh, especially "Knock Me a Kiss." That's a great one. The other one that I really love, I love them all, but um, "My Next Door Neighbor," which comes from Doghouse CD. No, that's not the one I'm thinking of. Hold on, let me find it. Because I want you guys to check this song out. Instead of listing a whole bunch of stuff, let me just find this real quick. I'm looking at my notes, class notes. I Know I Was Wrong has a really cool kind of five chord walking thing. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. So it's off of Company Man. Go check out Ain't You Trouble, Kia G on a C harp. It is just so cool because um, it's got this cool little and then it repeats those two lines, you know, and it's just such a cool thing. Yeah, it's just a cool line. It's really funky. There's so many good things we're going to do today in this class. I hope that, yes, this is kind of a plea for me, one last plea to consider checking out the class. Live is always the best option because you can ask your own questions during class, but I record it, so a lot of folks don't turn up turn out live. They just watch the recording. Yeah, we got Doghouse, I Know It's Wrong, My Next Door Neighbor, What's It Gonna Be, and Ain't You Trouble and knock me a kiss. Those are all the songs we're covering first, third, and second position. Yeah, it's going to be great. Hey, thanks so much. Once again, Rydstrom, man, I really appreciate you. Reach out to me sometime at info at harmonica123.com just to say hello. Thanks for the support on the channel. Not, I don't get a lot of tips coming in through the YouTube live stream, so... Maybe I'll get back to playing a little bit and I can share some of the ideas I'm using before I go today. This little thing I just did. 
notice how the phrasing is is almost identical so that's intentional i had no idea what notes i was going to play but the phrasing is intentional and i'm just using the the two ideas back to back to sort of call and response so the riffs are i'll give you these riffs six draw again a b flat harmonica six draw six bend six blow five draw four draw and i articulate that six draw with the tongue the ta method you don't need to though and the second riff is that's five notes that would have been a cool riff but i did i think i just did four notes but it was a similar phrase four draw four bend four blow no it's five notes three step and a half all the way down and three blow so you could i could have also gone wonder what that would sound like yeah it works about let's do that one one of the riff so six draw to eight draw six draw to seven blow and you just alternate it and then play around with the timing a little and I'm hitting six draw twice get creative and I've said this before but the my approach to improvisation is just feel, you know it's all by ear and feeling my way through it but I'm visualizing the big part of what I'm doing is I'm trying to just follow um, what I feel and hear in my mind but I'm guiding it through these visual patterns these references the, the riffs are really I see them I just I'll, I'll often see see the idea before I hear it right because i've ear trained the pattern like you know that's why i think i can come up with these on the flies that i spent time ear training where all the notes are and i can kind of just see a pattern and know what it's going to sound like before i play it so i might go like the thing i taught you i saw that that draw bend blow pattern and then i just moved down and saw another pattern and it just came out but often it's just a feel thing it's like the less you try, the less you think about it, the easier it becomes and the more that comes to you. It's just sort of like, you know, the inspiration sort of just comes out. But it takes a lot of practice for sure. I mean, that's the deal. Say hey, thanks again, everybody, for hanging out today. Appreciate you so much. Who else is here? What's going on? Jerry, what's up, man? You coming to class? You got my email today? Who liked the A minor? Yeah, I grabbed my G, use a few notes. Cool, man. Oh, the class today, is it for a more advanced level? You got to be able to bend. Yeah, as long as you can bend. If you cannot bend, I mean, you can always learn from it. But if you're bending, you will learn. 
Absolutely, okay? Just go to harmonica123.com and look at the details for the Gary Primich Riffs class. Sign up, and that's it. That's how you get there. It'll sit, You can download the link. How to be sure you're playing in third position is the root note area. Uh, the best is to just to know and, and verify ahead of time. Like the root note starts on one draw. So if that one draw is not working throughout the whole progression or four draw, then you're not in third. Because then you'd grab your F harp. That same note is now on the two draw. So that's how you know you're using third against it. I mean, that's a very loose way, but it's a way for you to verify if you're in third, if that helps. So, and steal my ideas, you know, steal stuff all the time or anybody's ideas. Yeah, so Jean-Pierre says, I think you're playing, but also gaming with rhythm or playing around with the rhythm. That's the essence of it. Because you can find an idea and you don't have to move from it. You can just alter the phrasing and the rhythm. This is such a cool track. Like, the, like for example, this kind of stuff. I just picture, I'm picturing more major scale almost patterns like blow draw, but I'm using bends, scale notes from third position, but I'm essentially moving in a blow draw fashion. But if you do it melodically, you know, with a little bit of intention with your phrasing, it comes out nice. Same riff, middle octave, lower octave, things like that. It's such a cool track. All right, I'm gonna give that a rest for a minute. What else is going on, y'all? I think I'm gonna have to run soon because I'm just wanna pay attention to the emails that come in. A lot of people are looking for the link or the notes. This class comes with notes, so you can uh, follow along. Or for the ultimate test, it's just kind of don't look at the screen when I pull up the notes and just try to listen, you know, maybe dim the screen way down or something, do something where you, you can't really see it. And you're really trying to just follow because I play the idea slowly. Gary's playing a lot of these so fast. That's the advantage of the class is that I'm, I'll take the riff and just slow it down to and, and break it into a smaller piece so we can analyze what's going on and practice it together. There's a lot in this class that I'm putting out there. So. It should keep you busy for a while. And that's what I have today. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Uh, I hope to see you on the next one. Like I said, I'm going to be randomly live streaming a lot. I should give up on trying to be structured. I always put out these things. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then it fizzles out, as you guys have noticed. For example, learn a riff by ear. <laughs> you know, part one, part two, and then it fizzled out. It's like, I may come back and do that, but it's got to be true to my fashion, which apparently is just going to be very... Driv driven by my ADD, this just sort of when I'm feeling inspired, I'm going to go for it. But the cool thing about these streams is that they're all recorded and you can come back and watch it later. And, and like I said, grab some ideas. So hope you guys make it a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. And I hope to see a few of you in class at 11 a.m. Central today. I'll go ahead and update this video. I think I can do that by putting the ticket link. But Again, you can find it at the top of harmonica, 123.com. Let's go out with a little bit of music, shall we? Same riff.
Thanks for hanging out.